In this lecture, we will present the behaviors of the navigation stack in ROS. When the robot receives a goal location, it starts the navigation process and will have the navigation state. The navigation means following the path planned by the global path planner. Assuming that a global path is found and planned, the robot will start its navigation towards it. During the navigation, the robot might be stuck due to some obstacles or narrow passages. Remember the problem of crossing the narrow passage close to the door during the navigation demo. In such a case, when the robot gets stuck, it will switch to recovery behaviors, which will attempt some actions to clear out the space. In the first recovery behavior, the robot will execute a conservative reset, which means that obstacles outside of a user-specified region will be cleared out from the robot map. This user-specific region is specified in the navigation parameters that we will explain later. If the obstacles are cleared, then the robot resumes the navigation state. Otherwise, the robot will perform an in-place rotation to clear out the space. If this second action fails, it tries a more aggressive reset by removing all obstacles outside of the rectangular region in which it can rotate in place. This will be followed by another in-place rotation. If all this fails, then the goal is considered as non-feasible and the robot will abort the navigation towards that goal. These recovery behaviors can be configured using the recovery behaviors parameters and disabled using the recovery behavior enabled parameter. Let us make a demo about the recovery behavior. We first start the TurtleBot 3 simulation and also load its navigation stack, as we did in previous demos. Observe in the terminal of the navigation stack that several parameters of the navigation are loaded, for example, the cost map, the laser scan data, and also the recovery behaviors are also loaded. We will observe in this demo how the recovery behavior works. Let us first send a valid goal location to the robot. As we observed earlier, the robot navigates toward this goal location by following the goal path planned by the Global Path Planner. Let us send an invalid goal location to the robot. I will select a goal location that corresponds to an obstacle. In such a case, observe that the Global Path Planner is not able to find a valid path towards this goal location. Thus, the navigation stack enters the recovery behavior. The first operation that the navigation stack attempts is to clear the cost map to unstack the robot. This is the conservative reset. Then, it will enter the rotate recovery behavior. This operation is repeated twice. At the end, when the robot is not able to find a valid path towards the goal, it will abort the navigation mission after executing all recovery behaviors. Let us try another invalid goal location. Observe that the same process will happen again. There are other situations that can also trigger the recovery behaviors. For example, we can select a valid goal location in the sense that it is a free space and is reachable by a global path planner but it is too close to walls and obstacles. The distance to the obstacle is smaller than the footprint of the robot. In this case, the robot navigates toward this goal location, but is unable to get exactly at the desired pose. This also triggers the recovery behavior, and when the robot is found to be stuck, it will abort the navigation. <laughs> 